Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Sonics. Après Bilbao, les Sonics viennent déverser leur musique puissante et rageuse au Bunich Folk Boost Festival, comme à la bonne époque. Mais en septembre 2007, ça semblait qu'il était close enough que nous pouvions le faire. Et ça n'a pas changé, nous avons juste continué. Trois d'entre nous ont rehearsé pour probablement deux ans, juste les trois d'entre nous. Et dans le processus de le faire, nous avons fait un deal avec l'autre que la Sonic Legacy de la 60s. So we agreed that if we could go on stage and be credible and be good, we'll do it. Well, yeah, and, and at our age, I mean, if, we, if it didn't feel good and we didn't like it, we wouldn't do it. You know, we, we do a show like tonight, that's, we really like that. I mean, what you see on stage with us having a good time, that's not fake. We're having a good time. So we do it because we like it. Le son des Sonics ne s'est pas oxydé avec les années. Il est toujours aussi compact et brut. We stopped playing, but that was the only way to get distortion was would be power stage distortion, you know. So you turn it to 10, not because you want to be loud, but because you want that warm sound and distortion. They didn't have sound systems, they didn't have monitor systems. The lighting system was three lights, a yellow light, a red light, and a green light or something. That was it. And when we first heard the monitor system in New York, it drove us crazy, being able to hear yourself like that. Entre 2 août, c'est des milliers de festivaliers qui ont fait le déplacement. Certains pour les revoir, d'autres pour écouter ceux qui ont marqué de leur empreinte toute une génération. About two months ago, we played for a, a promotion for a radio station, a rock station in Seattle. And it was held at a, uh, an old East type record store, but they have everything there. And we volunteered to play there, and the people who sat in consisted of members of Nirvana, uh, Eddie Vedder sat in, Screaming Trees, all these guys who said they were influenced sat in. speaking for myself I didn't know they were I didn't I didn't know who MC5 was or, or the Stooges I didn't know any of that when we got back into playing I started learning it bit by bit and we had some friends and some other big bands in the world that kind of told us that but but yeah I was really uh, I don't know about these guys they may have been more knowledgeable than I was but guys well did you know that uh, Such and such band played Strychnine? No, I had no idea. 